Do you get lots of issues where you get disconnected from the internet, you get low signal, you get lots of buffering, slow download speeds? Well, it might be because the Wi-Fi adapter in your device is just not up to the job. That's where this comes in. It's a dual band Wi-Fi adapter. It's USB, so you just plug it into your device and it is Wi-Fi 6. Okay, so on the front of the box, you've got a picture of the device. It looks like some sort of alien ship. It says it's USB free. Bear in mind, it's USB 3.0. That's pretty good. It'll work at the full speed. But if you're using something like USB 2.0 instead, it obviously the USB ports are not able to run at that full speed, so it won't work as well. Auto install, which means it doesn't need a disc or anything. The exact model number is the U18A. It is Wi-Fi 6, which basically means it sends out two signals, a two 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz signal combined they work up to 1800 megabits per second the 5 gigahertz signal is designed more for short distance signal transmission so if you do have issues on 5 gigahertz you connect up using 2.4 gigahertz and that is more designed for longer distance but obviously it doesn't work as fast Back of the box is straightforward. It tells you about the superior reception with powerful Wi-Fi 6, what you just spoke about. You've got a dual band antenna, which basically means you've got two antennas, the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz, as we spoke about. So that's pretty good. And it's USB 3 interface, which runs up 10 times faster than USB 2, blah, blah, blah. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for the back and a couple of QR codes and stuff. So inside the box, you've got the antenna itself, which doesn't have any plastic wrapping on it, which is pretty good, nice for the environment. Unfortunately, there was some one-use plastic on the cable there, which is sort of like an extension, what you plug in there and then into your either laptop or PC or whatever device it is you're using. And then you've got a manual, would have preferred to just use a QR code on the box, to be honest, because I'm pretty sure 95% of people are not even going to look at that. But there you go, that's all is in the box. Okay, let's have a look at the product itself. First of all, the cable. So this is a meter long, this cable. It's a USB 3.0 type on one end, as you can tell with a blue connection. The other end though is the less a used USB micro B cable, if I remember right, or USB 3.0 micro B, which isn't used a lot really, to be honest with you. I would have preferred a USB type C because generally most things tend to be using that these days, because obviously if you lose one of these cables, it's you've probably not got one of them hanging around somewhere else. But again, minor thing, you'll probably find that once you've plugged it in there, it'll be plugged in constantly anyway, so not an issue, but just a little minor thing. Right, the actual device itself is the antenna, which obviously you'd stick on top of your PC tower or on your desk next to your laptop or whatever. It's got these really long antennas on here, which is really good. So you've got two of them, you can position them how you want. So if the signal does seem to be a little bit flaky, you can adjust the antennas to try and get a better signal. Now the actual unit itself, so it's sort of got a, a crystal effect, I would say, um, on the design. So, which looks pretty good, to be honest, quite unique. Obviously, it's all black. It's a tender on the front, which is obviously the brand. On the bottom, it does have four little feet. They are plastic, unfortunately, which means if you've got it on a table, it's going to slide about quite a bit, potentially. I would have liked to have seen some rubberized feet on there, in all honesty. Uh, it does have some ventilation holes on the bottom, and as well as some manufacturing marks on there. Otherwise, on this side is where you plug your cable, which is that micro B connection which only works one way you just plug it in there and away you go and then you plug the other end into your PC laptop or whatever device you're using it on okay so let's set this up so it's actually pretty straightforward you don't need a big fancy machine like this obviously pretty much any PC will do as long as it meets the minimum specifications which to be honest with you system requirements it, all it says is Windows 10 so as long as you've got Windows 10 Windows 11 you should be fine doesn't mention anything about Macs so the device has to be Windows 10 or 11. So all you do is get obviously your device, plug the cable into it, and then plug the other end into your PC. As you can see, it does move around fairly easy, and that's even on a mouse mat because it doesn't have rubberized feet. So just bear that in mind. So plug that into your PC. Doesn't really matter which USB port, as long as it's USB 3 if you've got it. Plug it in. As you can see at the bottom, it's popped up saying autoplay. Do you want to run this? You click on it and then you press open folder to view files. Once that's done, you then open the folder called Windows, and then you double click the file what says Setup. Give it a few seconds, it should pop up on the screen and give you some more options. 
Here we go. It says installing. 40% in already. 100%. And it recommends you restart the machine. So when the machine restarts and comes back on, you need to click on the little globe at the bottom right if you're running Windows 11. And again, that's if you're not connected to a network already, otherwise the symbol will be different. If it's Windows 10, it may look similar, depends on the version you've got. It might look like little steps. It could potentially look like a little square, but if you hover over it, it will say something along the lines of network connections or no internet connections or no internet access. But you basically click on that. If it's Windows 10, it'll show you the wireless networks in range. If it doesn't, for example, on Windows 11, you have to click this little arrow at the top here. Make sure this bit's blue. If not, just click on it, it turns blue. Click that little arrow and it shows you the networks locally. So then you click on your network name. For example, that one is ours, TFT Studio. Press connect, type in your password for the first time and then press next. And then it should connect up, or at least in theory. And once you're on, away you go. So simple as that. So there we go. So that's connecting up. So that's saying it's connected to the network, but no internet at the moment. Give it a few seconds. It usually refreshes and says connected like it just has. So now we're on the internet and I can basically go and do a search on Google and look for whatever you want. And away you go. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.